ofisi ya waziri mkuu ndio ina wajibu wa uratibu wa utekelezaji wa programu ya Global Fund. Eh, Global Fund ni shirika muhimu sana kwa Tanzania kwa sababu inatoa fedha nyingi sana uh, kwa ajili ya magonjwa hayo ambayo nimeyataja. Sasa ofisi ya waziri mkuu inaunganisha wadau wote hawa ambao wanatekeleza hizi program kutoka serikalini lakini pia kutoka uh, kwa wadau wengine ambao nao pia wanatekeleza miradi hiyo ambayo inafadhiliwa na, na Global Fund. Sasa uh, ofisi ya waziri mkuu pamoja na kuratibu jukumu lingine ambalo tunalifanya ni kufuatilia uh, ili kuhakikisha kwamba fedha ambazo zinatolewa zinatumika kwa malengo ambayo yamekusudiwa. Uh, lakini kwa sababu fedha hizi ni nyingi pia E, jukumu letu lingine ni kuhimiza hao dau ili kuhakikisha kwamba fedha ambazo zinatolewa zinatumika kwa wakati ili sio tunapewa fedha halafu zinakuwa hazitumiki e, kwa, kwa, kwa wakati kwa hiyo pia tumejadiliana e, e, namna ambavyo shirika hili linaweza kuzidi kusaidia nchi yetu kwa maana ya kuhakikisha kwamba tunapata zile location ambazo zinatolewa kila wakati kwa maana kila baada ya miaka Uh, mitatu lakini pia kuangalia uwezekano huko mbele kuwezekana kuzalisha baadhi ya vifaa na reagents uh, ambavyo kwa sasa vinaagizwa kutoka nchi za nje kwa hiyo tunajaribu kuangalia je misaada ambayo tunaipata kutoka kwao itatumikaje kwa ufanisi ili kuleta tija kwa taifa letu na tunadhani kwamba kwenye hilo utakuwa na tija kwa sababu sio tu kuzalisha ndani bali kutasaidia kuongeza ajira lakini kupunguza fedha ambazo sasa zinatumika e, kuagiza madawa pamoja na vifaa hivi e, kutoka nje. Kwa hiyo hayo ndio maeneo makubwa ambayo tumejadiliana na wenzetu na kimsingi tumekubaliana kwamba ushirikiano huo utaendelea lakini vile vile utazidi kuimarishwa. Tutegemee ushirikiano zaidi kuimarika na tutegemee ufanisi zaidi kwenye utekelezaji wa program lakini pia kwa kama tutafanya hayo pia tutegemee fedha nyingi zaidi kutoka shirika hili na hivyo tutazamie sekta ya afya kuimarika na afya za wananchi wetu kuimarika zaidi. Hayo ndio ambayo ni matokeo makubwa ambayo tunatarajia kutoka kwenye kwenye, kwenye mission hii. Lakini kumbuka kwamba uh, unapoomba fedha ni lazima kuwa na popozo, ni lazima ku, kupeleka maombi aina fulani. Na sasa katika kupeleka maombi yao ni lazima ufanye assessment kwamba unachokiomba ni kitu gani. Kwa hiyo kwa upande wa, wa, wa uratibu ambao ni ofisi ya waziri mkuu um, tutaratibu hizo assessment ambazo zinafanyika kwenye mawazara mengine kwa maana ya kuwa pamoja lakini pia na upande wa ofisi ya waziri mkuu kuweza kuona kwamba kama tunaimarisha coordination overall uratibu wa jumla je ni maeneo gani ambayo yanatakiwa kuimarishwa na sasa tukishakamilisha hiyo assessment hiyo tathmini fupi tunaisema au ndogo hasa hii ndio ambayo tutawasisha kama proposal ambayo tutahitaji sasa group fund nao pia watusaidie kuimarisha hizo uh, vivo vitengo au units ambazo zitakuwa zinasimamia utekelezaji wa hii program so i think i think you have to sit down and work with the teams what was the best way to incentivize what is the best package etc but it, it must be linked to results uh, we we had many times i know the team has done a lot of um, assessments with pmus and a lot of times um it's not necessarily i think we all have to look at it holistically both from the perspective of what 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 permitted within your within your um in your um your requirements you know your uh, i think I, i know sometimes we can certain things are not permitted for example um how how do you recruit um staff staff recruitment staff staff remuneration so that's something you could work with but if you come up with us with i know that know the team will look at any um any um any any, any, any good proposal they will be like till we will be open to look at a good proposal but i think i think as we talk as we discuss incentives and also and also Um, for the PMUs, just identify the key competencies that you should have. I think um, very often we look at the, we look at the, um, but we look at the competencies. And one of them, like I point out here, is one of them is um, a good manager, good at coordinating, somebody good at understanding, putting together the numbers, comfortable with finance. And if you start moving that, and someone is a good decision maker, because the PMU you'll have to, you'll have to, um, you'll have to be. I know I'm speaking to the guys from the PM you know you have to have a tough skin eh because we'll be asking you for the data tomorrow 